it is that time of the year again. And I uh, like last year don't really have any like big or even remotely good plans, so um I was about to go with classic tier list for this um Christmas season. This year is a tier list of a bunch of Christmas movies. One of my favorite traditions at Christmas is just like sitting around with my family and just watch a bunch of movies. Christmas movies. I always just love it. Look forward to it every year. And so I, f I just figured that uh, if you get a fun Christmas special on my channel, just rank a bunch of them, because why not? Couple of things first. Just, um, first, uh, there's 105 movies on here. I've not seen all of them. Obvi obviously. I, I didn't I did name these tiers. These are all just, um, these are just really nice tier leaves, actually. Man. Anyways, yeah, I got them. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw on two other tiers, actually. I'll, I'll take this one as a, like, haven't seen it, but we'll see at some point. And uh, this one can be, um, no interest. And then, of course, at the very bottom is not a Christmas movie. Because there are a couple there, there are a couple on here that are gonna probably fall into that. I don't think I need any more introduction, just video. Oh, yeah, also, oh, wait, real quick, uh, sorry for, like, not uploading anything recently. I've just, I got a couple of big videos I'm working on. Uh, those should be uploaded, uh, I would say soon, but I have actually no idea. So just, um, sorry for not uploading much. Whatever, enough advertising. Let's get into the ranking. Oh, <laughs> oh, we're starting with a good one. We're starting with a really good one. The Grinch is a true classic, just in every sense of the word. I mean, like this is probably it, uh, the Grinch is already starting with like one of the best ever. I don't even know what to say about the Grinch, man. Like it's just it's the Grinch. I I don't I don't think I even need to say anything. Like it's just. Like, genuinely one of the best Christmas movies of all time. It's just Dr. Seuss. It's the Grinch. The classic Grinch. It's short. It's sweet. The songs are great. Good message. Good, all that stuff. Uh, moving on. Santa Claus Coming to Town is the first of the, um, I don't even know what the, uh, whatever company made them. Like, they had a couple of them. And, uh, Santa Claus Coming to Town is the best one, for sure. Like, it, it's really not even that close. Like, this movie is just... It feels like the most Christmassy Christmas movie, if that makes any sense. Like, it's just a really simple premise. Just the, just the, just the intro story of Santa Claus. Just, like, the most clear-cut, basic one. But it's just good. It's a really nice, just simple, feel-good movie. And I really like it for that. Uh, I would say it's, like, the best of the best. But it's, like, it's great. Yeah. Charlie Brown Christmas is pretty good. Uh, it's gonna go like right there though. It's um, I, it's a good. I like peanuts a lot, but it's not one I watch every year. I don't know. It's just it doesn't really like interest me as much as these, as much as the ones that are going up there. I'm actually gonna bump it down here. I uh, it's a it's a nice feel good movie, but it's just I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's just because I haven't seen it in a while, but it is not one I typically remember too much. Oh hey, Wonderful Life. Now this is a real Christmas classic, right? Uh, I have some history with Wonderful Life. I saw it once, many years ago. I was thinking of my grandparents' cabin. It was like one of the movie, only movies we had for that Christmas, so we decided to watch it, you know? Uh, this movie is, without a doubt, one of the most boring movies I have ever had the displeasure of seeing. Like, it is so mundane. Okay, everyone remembers this movie because it's, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's the wonderful life, man. It's the one with the guy who, like, sees how his life would have been. And yeah, that part's cool. The whole scene with him, like, going back with the, like, angel dude and looking at what his life would have been like if he wasn't there or something. That, that's a really good scene. Like, that's genuinely great. Problem is, that's only, like, the last 15 minutes of the movie. And yeah, the movie's two hours and ten minutes long. Which means, like, you gotta sit through an hour and 55 minutes of, like, the most boring plot you've ever seen for, uh, no nothing. Like, like, even, even just look, look at the description. It's just, like, about the last 15 minutes. It doesn't tell you anything about it, like, the rest of the movie. Because no one remembers first 90% of the movie because there's nothing to remember about it. Also, it came out in January. That's just great. That's fantastic. Bottom tier. I hate this movie. Christmas Vacation. <laughs> oh, man. I recently saw this one. Just, it's one of the reasons every year. But, uh, again, good reason for that. I, I mean, this movie is... It's not like a feel-good Christmas movie. It's just it's supposed to be a comedy. And, oh, boy. Is it a funny, 
frickin' comedy. I don't know, most of the jokes are a bit crude. Or, uh, tasteless. But, I don't know, this is, dude, this movie's just hilarious. Like, if you haven't seen this one, just wa watch it this season. Any some, like, grand adventure about, like, finding the true meaning of Christmas or anything like the Grinch. It's just meant to be a funny man and funny shenanigans, and it is really good at that. It's probably one of the funniest movies I've seen. This, this one is so freaking good. I saw Frosty once, like, eons ago. I don't remember anything about it. Same thing with Little Drummer Boy. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It's, uh, it's alright, you know. As far as the, like, quadrilogy of these movies go, it's, uh, not the best, but it's, it's another, like, I mean, I, all of them are classics, so I can really see it, but, yeah, it's, it's a good one. I don't like it as much as Santa Claus coming to town. I don't even know why. I just, I think the characters in Santa Claus are just better. Also, the songs, and, uh, yeah, I just, uh, Rudolph just feels a bit, um, I don't even know, man. It's just not as good. Simple as that. I'm not very good at movie analysis. Die Hard is a Christmas movie through and through, and it is a good Christmas movie. In fact, it's one of the best Christmas movies. In fact, it's gonna go at the top of the tier list for now. It's just meant to be a good action movie, and it is a really good action movie. Same way that like Christmas Vacation is just a really good comedy. Die Hard is just a really good action movie. The entire thing takes place at Christmas. Uh, it's, a, it's a Christmas party at the company. It's a Christmas movie through and through. Yeah. Santa Claus I saw once. It was, uh... is uh, um... Somewhere around here. I don't know where. Um... Let me just think about it first. Uh, I was Yeah, I saw Santa Claus, like, last year for the first time. And it was, uh... Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I remember it was, like... It's trying to be, like... like comedic movie kind of like crucifixion with a bit more emotional stuff it's just not that funny and the emotional stuff just isn't really that good like hmm. i can understand why people would like watch this one every year but it's just not really my cup of tea all right uh live action grinch i have not seen but i am interested in out of um morbid curiosity home alone 3 i have not seen but i just got thrown bomb tier anyways because it's home alone 3. why do they make three frosty movies that uh, is is frosty really that like, complex of a character that needs three movies. He-Man, what? Dude, there are some weird freaking Christmas movies. Claws. Another one I saw last year, much like San Santa Claus, but this one is incredible, really. Like, dude, this movie is so good. Just, like, in every aspect, this movie's just a masterpiece, man. Like, it hits you emotionally, it makes you laugh. So, it's just, it's a really nice, it's a really nice, like, twist or, like, change of, like, the origin of Santa Claus. It's just being completely different from anything else on here, but it's really good. Yeah, uh, it's Claus is good. It's got, like, nice, it's got really nice characters, really nice setting. Yeah, actually, really nice setting. Claus did the postal, the postman, I forget his name. They have really nice relationships. As I see, like, forge their bonds together and, like, start to respect and learn from one each other. Or from one another. I wish it wasn't so bad, like looking at movies, but this one is just really, really nice. You gotta check it out if you haven't. It's on Netflix, so yeah. Home Alone. Very, very good. Yeah, it's right. It's like a good balance of like funnies and uh, feelies. So and it does that really well. Like it's a nice story about um, you know, Kevin McAllister trying to reunite with his mum, all the while some like sh sneaky bands are trying to sneak into his house and rob him and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's really good. It's crazy, but it's a wonderful life in, a, in the sense, like, the most famous scene, the one that everyone remembers most, is, like, the last 15 minutes where, um, Kevin defends the house with the, like, with the traps. But, um, unlike Wonderful Life, uh, Home Alone is a really good movie outside of that. Seeing Kevin, like, kind of mature th throughout his time alone, and, like, seeing what hijinks he and the rest of his family get up to, like, while they're separated is... It's just engaging, funny, man, just interesting. A Muppet Christmas Carol is also going into grade. I've never gotten a good opportunity to say on this channel, obviously, but I love the Muppets. They are just like timeless classics. So pair that with another timeless classic, that being the Christmas Carol story, you've got a weirdly good combination. Like, it's just a, like, this is a really nice retelling of Christmas Carol with little bits of comedy thrown in, you know, with like Gonzo commenting the whole thing and like, you know, just Muppet, just typical Muppet hijinks, you know, fourth wall breaks, 
uh, to kind of random out their humor. I, it's, I'm just amazed this combo works so well. It's like, I don't know, it seems like it's just the most outlandish concept, because it is, but it really works. I don't know why, but I ain't complaining. It's a really nice movie. And I Review Christmas is a Halloween movie, because it's about Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King, you know, taking over Christmas, but then in the end he finds his true calling, which is Halloween, because he is, because he's the Halloween guy, because it's a Halloween movie. It's not a Christmas movie. It's a how look, look at the look at the yeah. Does that look like a Christmas movie? No, it's Halloween. And uh, you know, you think oh well, Die Hard. Die Hard's like not really a Christmas movie because it's like it it's uh, it, these both of them take place on Christmas, but like whoa. but see the thing is, Die Hard doesn't have any other holidays interfering with it because it takes place on Christmas. It's entirely Christmas, and therefore it's a Christmas movie. But I'm here for Christmas is a conflict between Christmas and Halloween, and is a Halloween movie. Oh yeah, that movie, it like came out and no one saw it, that was pretty funny. Wait. Wait, if this... Wait. What's that? Wait, if this... Uh, that, why are there two Rudolphs? Why are... Uh, wait, wait. Well, okay, um, I don't, I don't know what this is. This is some imposter Rudolph, I guess, but um... I guess I'll throw it there. Iron Man 3, I... Iron Man... Wait, I... I, I don't think Iron Man 3 is a Christmas movie. I may be wrong with that, but I'm pretty sure it isn't. Alright, Sp Spider-Verse I know isn't a Christmas movie. Like, I've seen this movie many times, and I do not remember, like, anything Christmassy in it. Why is it, why is that, why is it on here? That Christmas Carol, haven't seen. Seems interesting. It seems like, like, Stop Mo and, uh, Christmas Carol seems like a pretty weird combination, but it's not the only Stop Mo Christmas movie on here, because we got the Polar Express. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, the good old Polar Express is gonna join Wonderful Life in Ho Ho Horrible Tier. Because, much like Wonderful Life, it is a very, very boring movie with a few memorable moments. That mostly being like a couple scenes, you know, hot chocolate, uh, you know what kind of train this is? Was the like scene on the roof of the train just. There are very few, ironically or unironically, great moments in this movie. They're just mixed in with, like, the most nothing film I've ever seen. It's just, it's not good. It's so not good. You just find all the, like, best clips on YouTube, and, uh, don't bother with the rest. It's, it's just a waste of time. So there's infinity and fervors in between the two Christmas stories. Speaking of Christmas story, yeah, Christmas story, man. Christmas story is, um, weirdly enough, not really a story. It's, both, it's more or less just a bunch of, like, random segments, or just, like, Random things that happen that are loosely connected by a story about like Ralphie and what he wants for Christmas. But like there's not it's actually like not much story to a Christmas story. But it honestly doesn't really need that. It's just each of those individual moments are just really nice. It's a very iconic movie, and that's for a good reason, because yeah, this movie's just really nice. Really iconic. True classic. Also the style of it um being formatted like uh with a future Ralphie just commentating over the whole thing is a uh, is really nice, actually. It's a great concept, and um, I don't know if it was the first to do it, but it's definitely like, a, it's a really interesting way to tell a story. And uh, one I greatly enjoy. Home Alone 2, Lost New York. It is pretty much just more Home Alone 1. But honestly, yeah, I actually prefer the sequel. Just not by much. These two movies are very, very similar to each other. They all follow the same story beats, and are just, you know, Kevin gets separated from his family. He has to, like, defend a house and learns that old people are not, in fact, scary. But Home Alone 2 is, like, less about emotional stuff and more about comedy. Like, um, I don't know, Kevin's relationship with, uh, the old shovel guy in Home Alone makes it a lot more, uh, it, it's just a lot sweeter than, um, Bird Lady in Home Alone 2. But then, the traps in Home Alone 2 are so freaking good. They make it seem way longer, but there's a Good reason for that. They knew how much everyone loved it in the original and decided to make more of it. Make it more violent, make it more funny. Just good stuff. Also, the brick trap is so, so, so good. I just <laughs> love that one. Honestly, these are like right on par with the other. It's just a, it's just kind of preference of whether I, I'm in the mood for an um, emotional movie or like a comedic movie. Because Home Alone 2 is slightly better at being... It's slightly better at the comedy, and then Home Alone was slightly better at the, you know, emotional beats. They're both really good, though. Two classics. Elf. 
can't go wrong with Elf. You really, you really can't. This Elf is like probably the most iconic Christmas movie in the modern day, and uh, yeah, justifiably so. Like Will Ferrell is amazing in this movie. You know, all the all the jokes land, all the like emotional beats land, the whole thing just lands. Problem is, this movie is everywhere. Like, man. I think I'm starting to get really sick of seeing this movie. Even though I only see it once every year, it always seems like it pops up more than once. I was at a gingerbread house thing the other day, and I was playing in the background, but Elf. I was at like a fun little gathering thing, and there was someone dressed up as Buddy. Quoting Elf. This movie's just... It's really good, but it is kind of obnoxiously everywhere. Which is annoying, but... Look at the movie itself, it's good, yeah. Okay, I, I was confused about the Rudolph, but this is just the Grinch again. Like, those are the same movie. Why is it on here twice? Rise of the Guardians. This was, this is a weird movie. Like, there's an argument for this to be an Easter movie. And it probably is. Actually, I don't know what to do with this. I'll throw in there temporarily. Um, This movie is one that I see most Christmases. Because it's... I don't know, I, I really like the movie. The concept of it is just weird, but really nice. Like, um, like all the, um, holiday reps gathering together to, um, bring joy to children of the world is a really nice concept. Man, it is, this movie is carried by its characters. Like, the reps of each holiday are really great characters, all of them. Yeah, uh, this movie is definitely flawed, though. Like, for sure, like, fake-out deaths are really annoying. Um, the villain is, like, he's genuinely so, so bad. Like, he's just, you know, e Mr. Evil Generico who wants to take over the world and uh, wipe out the good guys. And that's about it. But this movie does have some of the strongest emotional beats I've seen. Or some of the strongest emotional moments I've seen. Like, um, uh, J Jack discovering, like, his background everything is really good. I, I also consider this Christmas movie. Climax takes place at Christmas, um, uh, Santa, wait, darn it, dude, I... Anything he could say about this being like a crisp movie could be, just be turned around and said about Nightmare, but uh, I think it's more of a crisp movie than Nightmare. It's like, not going hard here. It's definitely flawed, but I really like it. I was confused. This is just Rudolph again. Like, there's no argument. That is the exact same Rudolph as that one. But I guess the. I, uh, now I'm questioning if that one's. Where's. The, where, where did I put the other Rudolph? Why are there so many Rudolphs? The Year Without a Santa Claus. Actually, that's not. Wait. Is the year without a Santa Claus actually not on here, but this is? What? Dude, look, this is jank. You just remember this tier list, and you'll find one. There's also another movie I need to find. There's a very certain movie I'm trying to find, but it's not on any of these for some reason. Maybe it's not every Christmas movie slash special? No, it's it's not. It, it's not. Oh, wait. Oh, ho, ho, you can think of this. Let's go. Rap City Street Kids. Hey. Dude, why is this movie just not on anything? It's so good. This dude just missed a couple. Yeah, right, there's three go as I need to rank that are just not on here. So I'll just throw all these in, like, don't care, and talk about those three. Firstly, Jingle All The Way is a movie that is not good. It's about Arnold Schwarzenegger trying to find a 21st kid, hijinks ensue, but it's just not very funny. And it tries to get like all deep at the end, but it's not. It is hard, hard carried by Arnold Schwarzenegger because he is Arnold Schwarzenegger. He is admittedly the best part of the movie because aside from that, it is not great. It's definitely better than those two. I just got to use the power of editing to throw it in coal worthy. <laughs> yeah. Second, the year without a Santa Claus. Um, so in the quadrilogy of those movies. A Year Without a Santa Claus is definitely not the best by any stretch. There's another movie that is notable for one reason, and that one reason is really good because aside from, and aside from that, the movie's mediocre. Because like, you think a plot about Santa Claus um taking the year off would be more interesting, but it's weirdly um I don't know. It's, it's not actually especially like Santa Claus isn't even present for most of the movie. It's supposed to be how those two weird elves don't, gonna go, going to go find um, some random kid and then Mother Nature, and uh, I just don't really understand the pacing of the movie. It's so weird. However, the Mice Brothers are the only thing people remember for the movie, and there is a 
good reason for that, because those guys are great. Their song slaps. The personality is great. The relationship is great. Uh, I wish th I wish they were in the movie more. Like I I don't think I don't think that's a very good movie. So I just gotta ignore that one. And then finishing it off uh, with the one movie that I just can't find on any tier list. I guess it's like Forgotten or something, which is a shame. It's Arthur Christmas. Now Arthur Christmas is probably just not, not even like my favorite not even my favorite Christmas movie. This is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. Like th that that movie is so weirdly good. I don't know why. Like the concept is the concept's nice, you know, just um. A strange take on the Santa Claus trope with them. Um, it's like Santa Claus and the entirety of Christmas being more of like an operation than just one thing, you know. Um, like with a team of elves and Santa's family trying to, um, or working to do Christmas. And like a child gets left behind, so it's up to Arthur and Granddad to go save the day. But th dude, that movie is so unbelievably good. Like, at first it is really funny when it's trying to be, like... Uh, it's not all the jokes land, but when they do land, oh man, they land like a something that lands really hard. But it's more, it's more to Christmas than just, you know, how, how funny is Christmas time about emotions, and like, uh, I've talked about like emotional beats in Christmas movies a lot, you know, freaking Elf, um, or as the Guardian's Claws, but like, I don't know, dude, I think it's like, I might be just personal connection, but like, I just, Arthur Christmas just hits me so much harder than like any other movie on here like there are multiple times throughout the movie where i'll just get genuinely emotional i don't i i i, I do know why man it's just it's so good it, everything about it is so well executed why is it not on any tier list it would definitely go right at the top so good if you haven't seen it watch it i'm uploading this on the 24th so maybe a bit too late but still watch it or like maybe watch it tomorrow christmas day yeah that'd be cool I uh, yeah i guess just no one remembers them I, I, no one remembers Arthur Christmas. That is a tragedy, man. Like, actually. Well, I guess this is the finished tier list. Uh, there's a lot I haven't seen, but all of these I don't think I need to see. Like, oh, oh boy, can't wait to settle down for Christmas and watch Prep Landing with my chums to get in the real Christmas field. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, it's just a quick, fun little video, so, um, ah, yeah, just a nice little festive thing to get everyone in the Christmas mood. I hope you enjoyed, just tell me what your favorites are in the comments, I'd be interested in hearing, you know, maybe there's somebody, maybe somebody I should check out next year, just do tell. Until next time, have a very Merry Christmas, and I'll see y'all later.